Hi guys, today I want to talk about the AC generator, how it works, and then we're going to look at a graph of the AC generator, how the voltage produces a sine wave, and how that relates to where the coils are as they spin around. Okay, so here's a diagram of the rotating coil generator. Now, there's a magnetic field that runs from the north to the south of two magnets. So we've got two magnets here. Uh, the magnetic field is going across like this. Now, you've got a coil of wire. Now here in this diagram, it's a very simplified version. We've got a single coil where in reality, there's, you know, a few, maybe even a few hundred turns around here. Now, as the, the coils turn around like this, the wire here and here cuts through the magnetic field that's going across here. And as it cuts through the magnetic field, that makes the electrons move inside the wire and that generates electricity. So that's the, the, the part that's making the electricity. The problem is you've got a wire that's turning around. So as it's turning around, if you didn't have these things called slip rings, what would happen is the wire would just start twisting around itself and eventually the machine would just stop because you can no longer uh, keep twisting around. So the slip rings and the carbon brushes, they transfer the alternating current to wherever you want it to go. And it avoids this problem of the wire uh, twisting around itself. The reason they use carbon brushes is because carbon, number one, is an excellent conductor of electricity, and two, it acts as a lubricant against the slip rings so they don't start to get too hot and have a mechanical failure. Now, if you want to make a, uh, a well, more electricity, there's three things that you can do. Number one, you can use stronger magnets. So the magnetic field here is going to be stronger. So the electrons feel more of a magnetic field inside here, so they're going to move more. You can have more coils, so effectively you've got more area here where the electrons can move. Or you can spin the coil faster, and that will also generate more electricity. Now what I've got here, guys, is a voltage graph of the output voltage from our AC generator. And we're going to try and relate where the position of the coil is uh, with the graph. So this is a sine wave that would be produced. If I put an oscilloscope on the output, this is the graph that I would see. So I've got time along the uh, x-axis, voltage along the y. Now what happens is you can see you've got no current, then it goes, sorry, you've got no voltage, then you've got a maximum, goes back down to zero, and then the voltage moves in the other direction, and then back down to zero, and this cycle just keeps repeating itself as the coil spins round. Now, to begin with, where we've got no voltage, the coil, which I've done in blue, is moving parallel uh, to the magnetic field that's going along here. So if you think the wire, if you could imagine this in three dimensions, the wire where the electrons are is moving parallel with the magnetic field lines, so there's no effect on the, uh, on the, on the electrons inside the coil. Then, as it spins around, they cut through here and here at a maximum. So they're cutting all the field lines that are going across here. Then you're going to get a peak uh, voltage being induced inside the coil. Then after, uh, well we've had half a sorry, a quarter of a turn, another quarter of a turn, so we're back down to this, so this is halfway round. Again, the coils are moving parallel with the magnetic field lines that's running across here. So there's no voltage being induced. Then eventually they turn around and then they're going uh, perpendicular to the field lines and then you get a maximum current again. And then the cycle just repeats itself over and over again. Click here for more videos. Click here and there's a people running after in the car. You do talk some junk. You do touch junk that he's listening to you, but nah.